Yeah, I was thinking too when you were talking. I had a client one time, and he had been extraordinarily successful as a chemical engineer, kind mm-hmm. of graduated in management. And the company that he worked for would send him all over the country with plants that weren't performing. And they're, you know, it's very metric driven, so like yeah. output per day or output per hour. And I asked him one time over lunch. I said, "What what was it that you did that made you so successful at that?" And he goes, "Well, you know, I got these degrees, and I understand chemical engineering, but really, it had nothing to do with that." Yeah. My sole focus was in going in and finding where was the bottleneck, the the first bottleneck that I could find. And then we would change whatever needed to be changed, release that bottleneck, and then another one would pop up mm-hmm. further down the production line. And then we change that one. And eventually you get closer and closer to the end of the production line. And at the end, you've removed all the bottlenecks and you look back and all these incremental improvements. Now you're getting a 4x, 5x, 10x output increase. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's why I would get stock options. That was why I get raises. And that's why I get another plane ticket to move to another city for another year or two years to do this. And I think the analogy to this is if you're the business owner and you're the bottleneck, that points to the, how do you unclog that bottleneck? You, It's nothing that you're going to do. 